Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something really important in modern HVAC, VRF and VRV systems. You might have heard these terms thrown around, especially in big buildings or luxury homes, but what exactly are they? And why are they becoming so popular? Let's break it all down. So, when most people think of air conditioning, they imagine a simple system, one indoor unit connected to one outdoor unit. That's what we typically see in homes. When the room gets cool enough, the outdoor unit shuts off. When the temperature goes back up, it turns on again. Pretty simple, right? But what if you have a building with 10 or 20 rooms, all needing different temperatures at different times? Connecting one outdoor unit to every indoor unit isn't just expensive, it's also inefficient. That's where VRF and VRV systems come in. Now, first things first, let's clear up the confusion. VRF stands for Variable Refrigerant Flow, while VRV stands for Variable Refrigerant Volume. They're the same technology. The only difference is branding. The Japanese company Daikin was the first to invent this system in the early 1980s. They patented the name VRV, so when other companies started using the same concept, they had to call it VRF. So if you hear either of these terms, just remember, it's the same thing. All right, now let's talk about how this system actually works. In a VRF setup, you have one outdoor unit connected to multiple indoor units, and not just two or three, sometimes up to 60, depending on the system size. But it's not just a simple split. The system uses advanced controls to intelligently adjust how much refrigerant is sent to each indoor unit, depending on what that space needs. Let's say only seven rooms are occupied in a 20-room building. The system detects which rooms need cooling or heating and sends refrigerant only to those units, no energy wasted on the empty rooms. And the best part? Each indoor unit operates independently. That means you can set different temperatures in each room. One person wants it chilly, Another wants it warmer? No problem. Now here's where it gets even smarter. The inverter compressor. Unlike regular compressors that only turn on or off at full speed, inverter compressors can run at variable speeds. They ramp up when more power is needed and slow down when less is required. Think of it like driving a car. Instead of constantly slamming the gas pedal or brakes, the inverter lets the system cruise smoothly matching the exact demand in real time. This makes the system more efficient, quieter, and gives it a much longer lifespan. So, where do we usually see these VRF or VRV systems? You'll often find them in hotels where each guest room needs its own temperature setting, office buildings where different departments have different cooling needs, hospitals where temperature control is critical, shopping malls where every store operates on a different schedule, and even in modern homes or apartments that value aesthetics and efficiency. And here's another bonus. Since one outdoor unit can handle so many indoor units, you save a lot of installation space. You don't need to crowd your building exterior with multiple big outdoor boxes. Let's go over some of the main benefits of VRF and VRV systems. First, they're super energy efficient. Because they only work as hard as they need to, they consume far less power than traditional systems. Second, they offer individual zone control. Every room gets its own settings. Third, the design is sleek and compact, with fewer outdoor units cluttering the building. Fourth, they run quietly, perfect for noise-sensitive environments. And fifth, they support smart control systems. You can monitor and manage them through apps or a central building management system. Some advanced systems even offer simultaneous heating and cooling, so one room can be cooling while another is heating at the same time. That's possible with a heat recovery VRF system. Speaking of types, there are three main categories of VRF systems. Cooling only VRF, which, as the name suggests, only cools, great for hot regions. Heat pump VRF, which can either cool or heat, but all zones must be in the same mode at the same time. Heat recovery VRF, which is the most advanced. It can heat and cool different zones simultaneously. Super efficient and ideal for buildings with diverse needs. 
Let's compare traditional AC to a VRF system side by side. In a normal split system, you have one indoor unit connected to one outdoor unit. The compressor is either fully on or off. There's no way to manage rooms individually and the system is not very flexible. But with VRF, you get one outdoor unit connected to many indoor units, a variable speed inverter compressor, zoned temperature control, smart performance based on real-time data, much quieter operation, and flexible installation even in complex buildings. So in short, VRF and VRV systems are smart, scalable, and energy-efficient air conditioning solutions. They're designed for buildings where comfort, control, and efficiency are essential. Yes, the initial cost might be higher compared to traditional systems, but over time, the energy savings, durability, and comfort make it a worthwhile investment. Whether it's a hospital, an office tower, a hotel, or even your dream home, if you need intelligent climate control, VRF is the way to go. If this helped you understand how VRF and VRV systems work, make sure to like the video and share it with someone who might find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical, technical content made easy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.